Hello and welcome back to a Pokemon Blazing Emerald playthrough. This is part four, and last episode we had ourselves our first gym battle in Rossboro City against Roxanne. We had hard mode enabled, and we got to see a little bit of what hard mode was about. Uh, honestly, her Pokemon were decently impressive. I was not expecting a Rhyhorn. I'm a little bit sad there wasn't a Nose Pass, but regardless, it was a decent fight. I learned very quickly that uh, there was no healing items allowed in battle, which made it a little bit more difficult. But to be honest, Clefairy pulled through. And our team pulled through. Venonet honestly pulled through. The Intimidate mattered. All of our team did have an impact, but regardless, I did go ahead and catch one new member that is essentially just here for cut. Conveniently, it is an adamant nature though. So while I'm not putting a whole lot of effort into this Zigzagoon, I just want it to be noted. It's an adamant nature and it has a much more powerful steel type cut. Are we gonna use it? Probably not, but the option is there. Honestly, we might need a HM slave at some point, and Zigzagoon is never a bad option in Pokemon Emerald. Regardless, we have our Shinx in front, as I would like to get into Alexia this episode, and we had um, Mr. Mr. Good's guy over here, this guy. He ran away because we didn't actually do this. We went straight into the gym battle, which honestly kind of worked out. Oh, it's you. You're that fantastic trainer who helped me in Petalburg Woods. I did not want to help you. I just wanted to slap a Poochiana with a jump kick. Bat. I had no interest in helping this man, but sure. Help me, I got robbed by Team Aqua. I have to get the Devon Goods back. If I don't, I'm gonna be in some serious trouble. That sounds like his problem. Um, I did go ahead. <laughs> I'm just being rude. Um, I did go ahead and change the outfit to the blazing outfit. Kind of fits the whole theme of the game. So, nice deep red, or nice light red at the top. Weird, like, burgundy sort of color. That's a fun word to say, but weird sort of, like, I don't know. I like the light red, sure, but so far, I'm gonna be honest, I really like the Seafoam outfit. I really do, and it isn't the outfit I really thought I was gonna like. Metallic, to be honest, I'm I'm a very large fan of just the color black in general for clothing, you know? it's It goes with everything, you can never go wrong. And that's nice when you have no fashion sense like me. So, I'm always a fan of the black clothing, but the Seafoam outfit, at the moment, I think it's winning. I think it's winning. We are gonna go ahead and bop this Machop. I'm assuming we get to level 15, we evolve. I know we learned Spark at level 12, which is a little bit different to normal, where it would normally be at level 13. And we also learn um, Cover early. So there's definitely been some moveset changes to Shinx. I'm assuming it's still going to evolve at the same level, though. If its evolution has been changed, that would be very surprising to me. I bug poke on a tough, let's battle. I could have done all of these before the gym, and I could have went into that gym, and I would have absolutely decimated everything and I'm confident in that, so I'm really glad that I chose to do it when I did. And that leads me to the question of, do I want to just go straight into Doofa Gym when I get there, or do I want to go through the cave first? Because Doofa Gym, generally, is a little bit tougher, and I do think it's been type changed. So, I don't know, I have mixed opinions. I also think our Pokemon are going to be much better against the Doofa Gym, because I believe it's Dark type. I believe. Which means, having a Fairy type, an electric type of intimidate and cover, a bug type and dark type, we're, we're gonna be we're gonna be in a very good spot. I'd be very surprised if it went badly. Um, Ninkada, however, you are annoying, for sure. I'm gonna go into the Venonat, just because. Is it the best Pokemon for the situation? Probably not, but I don't have anything better. So we're just gonna spam faint attack until this thing goes away. That is the plan. Nearly forgot where faint attack was there, and click double team just purely off of instinct. And that would have been wrong. Pin missile. That's super effective. Ow. I've made a mistake. My bug is weak to his bug. That's unfair. That's... I don't like that. I don't like the situation I'm in. Yet I'm gonna spam faint attack anyway. Because at the end of the day, if Venonat goes down, I get a free switch back into my Shinx. <laughs> it gives me XP on my Pokemon that I actually want to really get evolved this episode. I am wasting an orange berry. How dare I. How dare. Disgraceful. Honestly, if he could land more than two pin missiles in a row, this would already be very over, but... Is this gonna be the one? Are we about to lose our Venonat, or is it just gonna be two again? This poor Ninkada. This... I feel bad. I feel a little bit bad. Two, three times in a row? That's just mathematically unfortunate. That's how we have to say it. You know, that's just unlucky. I feel a little bit bad. But, regardless, 
Jinx is okay, then that's okay. Let's keep leveling up our Shinx. I do want to have a quick look around at the Pokemon that might be on this route, as we might be able to find a couple of interesting Pokemon. Uh, I don't know what exactly I want to add to my team at the moment. There's honestly a lot of open slots for a whole lot of typings. Having a water type is never a bad thing, so, you know, considering we're in Hoenn, getting a water type really shouldn't be too difficult. I'd be very surprised if we struggled to find a good water type, but regardless. What might be difficult? Sorry, hold on. What? Do you have that uh, Electrize? Elect What's the ability called? Collectivize? Galvanize? What's the ability called that turns normal type moves to electric type moves? It has that, and that's really unfortunate for it right now. That's a real shame. That's... that sucks. This poor Marik would probably destroy me if I wasn't in with an electric type right now. But I am actually going to win this trade just by spamming Tackle, just because I don't have that annoying ability. That's a real shame. We are going to hit level 14 though, we are getting real close, real close to that beautiful Luxio. We are getting real close. I can, I can taste it. It's in the air. And it does look like it's going to be level 15 for the evolution. It doesn't look like it's going to be anything crazy with like, you know, being level 14 instead. Which makes sense. I am going to do this as a double battle, just so I can swap out into Clefairy. Plus, let's be honest, I have a Zigzagoon in the back. Is there really any risk that can happen right now? There is. <laughs> for sure. For sure there is. Trumish and Geodude. Well, you know what? You know what? Oh, apparently I'm going to be swapping into Venonat. I guess that's fine too. We're going to get the Intimidate off. That's nice. I can jump kick the Geodude pretty conveniently. And... I might actually just sacrifice my Zigzagoon. I'm going to be honest, I don't care about this Zigzagoon. This Zigzagoon is here as fodder. Which is rude, but it is what it is. And I'm just going to jump kick that Geodude in its face. Respectable damage. Respectable damage. Honestly? I was gonna say, if they just doubled into the Clefable, I might even be able to get, like, a cutoff against the- They did not- They did not double into the Clefable at all. Unfortunately, they did not care about the Clefable in the slightest. That's unfortunate. I thought we were gonna maybe get an opportunity to, like, let the Zigzagoon actually bop something at level 5, which would have been funny, but... No. <laughs> Definitely not. Um, I think Covet should be able to finish it from here. Maybe this is risky, but I don't want to miss a jump kick. Missing jump kick would just be a shame. And Cover is going to finish it, so that's fine. That gives me a little bit of XP. It was going to gain 220. That's not a bad amount. That should put me, like, honestly, like, one Geodude's worth away from evolving, and then I get my beautiful Pokemon, and then we are all good. That's the plan. It's that simple. Bane attack, cover, ball. Don't know if Shroomish is worth more XP or less. Don't care. Stop paralyzing all my Pokemon. It means I'm gonna have to run back to the Pokemon Center, which honestly I'm kind of okay with, because every time I have to run back somewhere, it does mean that I get that slight extra chance of finding a shiny. Because just to reiterate, it is a 1 in 1000 chance for a shiny in this game, and those odds are really, really, really high, honestly. So, I would not be surprised if at one point I was doing something stupid like running back to a Pokemon Center and found a shiny, so. Here's hoping. Level 15 acquired. No new moves. Level 15 acquired on Venonat as well. I like the fact that our team is kind of even. I honestly didn't realize there was another Pokemon because I completely forgot. Um, I quite simply just smack you with Faint Attack and Covered again, right? I would love to get the Metronome off, but I think my Venonat's faster, but I would love to use Metronome right here. This is the kind of situation where Metronome is at its peak, right? Where you're in a stupid enough situation to where you can win regardless, so you get to just use it and see what comes out. That's when Metronome's the most fun. Not when you actually need it. When you need it? Oh boy. <laughs> that can get really risky really quickly. But regardless, evolution. Beautiful. Now, say it with me. Learn Volt Tackle. <laughs> Volt Tackle. Volt Tackle. Can you imagine? I can imagine. It'd be nuts. Gimme it. Volt Tackle. Let's go. Volt Tackle right here. I like the sprite artwork. Mhm, mm mhm. Mm Any moves? Any moves? 
No moves. Unfortunate. I thought maybe because of the uh, the cover early on and the spark being a level earlier, it might have had like a crazy thing. No type change, it's still pure electric, just making sure that it hadn't become a dark type or anything like that. There we go. Nice and simple, no real changes. I go heal. Boom heal. Boom healed. Okay, there we go. Uh, I did take a quick look around the route just to see if there was any like different Pokemon that we can find here. To be honest, it's mo mostly Poochiena. Um, there's nothing particularly crazy here. There's Wisma, there's Abra, there's a Mareep, which to be honest, if you can use that normal type to electric type move, Galvanize or whatever it's called, honestly, maybe it could be really good. Uh, but I have a Luxio, and that's my favorite Pokemon of all time, not even just like favorite electric type, so... It's a, it's a tough life out here for Mareeps, it's not gonna be chosen, unfortunately. Uh, however, I am gonna go ahead and... I don't know what I was about to say. My mind is... Fumbled. <laughs> My mind completely forgot what I was going to say. I was going to say something about Amphros, I think, but it's already gone. Draining Kiss. I mean, is there any reason to keep cover? It just isn't, right? There just, there's no reason. There's no reason to keep cover. It's, it's not worth it. I'd much rather have Draining Kiss every single opportunity. Even if I wanted to steal an item, I think I'd still rather just potentially have 50% of my HP back, because that's just a nice amount. In fact, let's even use it against this Geodude, because it's a special attack. It's going to do a really decent amount. You're about to get kind of slapped. Kind of slapped? Turns out, is an understatement. Okay. Did it also only give me 220 XP? Wasn't that what it gave all of my Pokemon when I had like three Pokemon swap in? Is EXP sharing like stupidly good? Like if I switch train, do they all get the full amount of XP? <gasps> Mr. Briny has Sprite! Mr. Briny! Mr. Briny, I finally get to see you in your true form. Oh, what am I to do? We were on our walk, Pico and I, and we were jumped by an odd thug. The scoundrel made off of my darling Pico. Raw Pico. He's crying. Mr. Briny's crying. I never knew I could feel so much emotion for Mr. Briny. I never knew. I really didn't. This rust stuff tunnel looks really pink. Imagine if it doesn't have Wisma. I can dream. I can, I can dream, okay? Obviously it was gonna have Wisma, but also imagine if it didn't. That would be crazy. That would be actually crazy. I am pretty sure this dude is going to have a Poochiana though, and I am just going to drain kiss it, and it's going to get absolutely deleted. And then we're going to start making our way towards Duford, honestly. Which, with my current levels, Visionary. What is Visionary? What is Visionary? I traced Visionary. Okay, strange. Um, but I'm not sure if I'm going to do the Doofit Gym, like, immediately when I get there, or not. I'm, I'm really undecided on that. But regardless, for right now, we're going to click Drain and Kiss and watch this poor Poochiana get absolutely deleted, and I feel a little bit bad for what I'm about to do, but also... I gotta click the button, buddy. I... I gotta click the button. We trace Hustle, that sucks. That does suck, but we land our Drain and Kiss regardless. It doesn't get any attack boost, unfortunately, but it should still do a ridiculous amount of damage. Yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. I feel a little bit bad. This is plain not right. The boss told me this would be a slick and easy job to pull. All I had to do was steal some package from Devon. Should you want to back that badly, take it. I also want Pico, thank you. Give me Pico. There we go. Okay, I have claimed my Pico prize. That's kind of fun to say. Pico, am I glad to see you're safe? I don't like crying, Mr. Briony. It makes me feel so bad for this old man. <laughs> Pico owes her life to you. They call me Mr. Briony, and you are? Ah, so you are Carlos. I sincerely thank you. Let me see him happy. Let me see him with a big old grin on his face. Now, if there's anything that troubles you, don't hesitate to tell me. You can usually find me in my cottage by the sea near Petalburg Woods. Come, Pico, we should make our way home. I want to see him ecstatic, okay? I want to see him at his happiest point. I want to see the smile. That's all I want. I do actually have cut, which means I can go through this area and cut everything down and battle these people. Honestly, I don't... I don't remember what's up here. 
because I skip it so incredibly often. But I am going to skip all the traitors, because I don't think we need to fight the traitors. I could be wrong, we could get to Doofood, and I could get absolutely wrecked by, you know, the gym leader having, like, a level 25 Pokemon. But at the moment, I feel like I'm, a, I'm very on par with levels, so I don't need to battle those extra trainers. I will, however, grab the Chesto Berries. Do we have rest? Nope. But, either way, if we could find a Pokemon with rest, we could really abuse the fact that we get five Chesto Berries. We really could. I don't think I care about Pinat Berries, though. I mean, I'll grab, I'll grab them because they're here, but they aren't useful. They're only useful if you want to do like the beauty contest stuff, which I think I've done once to say that I can, I've done it, and I don't think I ever did it again. The contests, that stuff. I don't think I've ever done it more than once though. It's just, I'm here to battle. <laughs> oh, how did it go? The Devon Goods? You did, you got them back. You really are a great trainer. <laughs> Thank you. I know, as my thanks, I'll give you another great ball. Honestly, I do need to buy more Pokeballs. Thank you for the reminder, Mr. Devon Goods man. It is appreciated. This is the Devon Corporation's third floor. Our president's office is on this floor. Anyway, I can't tell you how much grateful I am for what you've done. You got the parcel back, deliver it to Slateport. Do do do, do do do. Mr. Stone would like to have a word with me. He liked me to take a letter to Stephen, who is currently in a cave in Duford. If I do so, he will give me an EXP share. I, I, I get what you're saying. I, I get what you're saying. It's okay. You know, I, yeah. Yeah, I, I know what you're gonna say. You know, I, you can call me a psychic. It's okay. I, I got it. Mm-hmm. 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 Yep, we're also gonna do Pokenav. Did miss that part out, honestly. I am, I am spam clicking. I understand. Mm-hmm. Team Magma and Team Aqua. Oh! A heal. Strange. Strange? Strange. Why did you heal me? What's about to happen? You about to attack me? No, 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 no. I don't actually care about what you have to say. I was just, I, I was just curious. Is someone gonna attack me like immediately as I leave? I know I have to do the Pokenav stuff for the match call. Do I have to battle him? Imagine if I have to battle Mr. Stone. That'd be amazing. Let me, let me battle Mr. Stone right now. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. We are gonna go ahead. We are gonna Pokenav call, match call. Mr. Stone, battle me. Hmm? Don't just look at me from up out of your window. Mm hmm. No. No. No one gonna battle me? Why did they heal me there? Why? Wait for it. Strange. Strange? Strange. Well, I guess we have the battle with May we can do, so sure. Oh, hi, Carlos. You had a match call feature put on your Pokenav. Let's register each other so we can contact one another anytime. Sure. Oh, by the way, I passed Mr. Briny in Pelberg Woods. Guess he's on his way to his home cottage by the sea. How's your Pokedex coming on, Carlos? Bad. <laughs> Mine's looking pretty decent. So, how about a little battle? Sure. You just became a trainer, Carlos, and not going to lose. Honestly, I'm I'm interested in seeing how this goes. I want to know how much stronger she's got. Low tad at level 14. Very convenient for the first gym. I see what we're doing here, May. You're trying to get, like... A little bit of a tactic going on right there. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I'm clicking match now. Because <laughs> I can't help it. Light screen. We're setting up screens. Okay. Swift. Go ahead. Use your swift into my light screen defense. Free damage. Pathetic. I have the power of metronome on my side. Jump. Well, I mean... It's not bad, but like, you don't need to metronome that, you could just actually use the move. And then we're gonna finish it with a swindle, because I want money. <laughs> Why not make the money where you can, right? Why not? And you also have yourself still a Charmander, huh? Still a Charmander. Well, it's about to get metronome hydro pumped. Imagine. Imagine. Oh, quick. I... Metronome OP. Metronome busted. I'll say it as many times as I have to. Metronome's great. <laughs> <laughs> I 
Admittedly, I'm only going to use it when I'm incredibly confident in the battle that I'm currently in, but it's still really funny when it works out like that. Oh, by the way, Mr. Briny, who I just passed, tell us, you just moved here so you might not know this, but Mr. Briny was once a revered seafarer. I, in fact, was aware of that. Thank you, mate. It is appreciated. But I am going to go see him right now. I'm going to get in his boat. And we are going to sail the seven seas together. It's going to be great. It's going to be, it's going to be great. Pico's going to be by our side as our lookout. We're going to take over like a pirate ship. We're going to become the pirates of the seven seas. I have high hopes and dreams for what could come of me meeting Mr. Briny right here. And I'm all for it. Also, I really want to see you ecstatic. Hold on, lass. Wait up, Pico. Oh, he's just, he just looks serious. Hmm, you're Carlos. You saved my darling Pico. I owe so much to you. What's that? You want to set sail with me? Hmm. We have a letter bound for Duford and a package for Slateport then. Like the busy life you must lead. Like he has that slight smirk, but it just makes him look kind of smirk like he knows something I don't, and I don't like that. I feel like he's, he's like, got some kind of horrible weaponry on his ship, right? But I, I guess we're off. I, I just want to see his face like glow with happiness, so I feel like I can trust this man, and he's just not doing it. But I mean, I, I guess we're off. Are we gonna get a call? Yep, there we are. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We don't need to talk to this man at a single point until we have four badges. Okay, Norman, we don't need to speak to you. We're having a nice little ship right now. You managed to pause our ship in the ocean with your electromagnetic interference from your call. It's pretty rude. It's pretty rude. Duford Town. If it land, first things first, we go ahead and grab the goodies. Silk scarf, gimme. Yep, I appreciate your silk scarf. I also want that fishing rod, for sure. And if we can maybe fish up something different to a magic up, I don't know if we can. Is the fisherman on the left rather than the right, or am I crazy? Hi? Huh. Why does he seem like he's in a slightly different spot? Why do things look slightly different? Is it the trees? Is it the trees having more of like an autumn feel? This is different. This is different. What is this? Dewshine Beach? What? What? They made Duford more than just a, a a terrible little island with a cave? What? We exploring. We're exploring. We're exploring. Trace huge power. Huge power Azrael. Not a bad Pokemon, but what is going on here? Hello? Welcome to Dushine Parlor. What can I help you with? What's the gift shop? Tropic mail, berry juice. I don't really care about any of that. What was the other thing you offered? Pokey Spa. Huh. So just a friendship increase? I'm not, I don't have return on anyone, so I mean, I'm not super concerned about that. If we ever get return for maybe Zigzagoon, like Silk Scarf boosted, maybe? Hey kid, have some juice. Appreciate it. You know, they always say don't take things from strangers, but I'm gonna be honest, if a stranger came up to me and was like, here, you know what, have some black currant juice i'd be like hell yeah we're best friends now give me juice every day and that's all it would take i wish those youngsters would have their pokemon battles somewhere else huh i'm just i'm blown away that they added like a full area i thought the area looked different right but i thought it was just like the autumn trees and that one big tree that kind of caught me off guard but they've they've really made a space what is going on down here sorry Separate plotline? What's the problem? Don't you want the Pokemon in this beach to be happy? Think of how much better off they would be with more land. The lake? Who are you? If you think terrorizing the locals and scaring away Pokemon is making everyone happy, you lot are even more delusional than I had thought. Listen here, chump. If you want to interfere with official Team Magma business, you're in for a world of hurt. You don't stand a chance against the two of us. I... I'm a guy. Hi. Um, number two here. Mind your own business, kid. Mm-hmm. Don't mess with Team Magma. We got our orders straight from Maxi himself. I'm going to lead with my Intimidate user for double battles, because that's really useful. And I guess I'm doing a double battle with this random dude. You there, trainer. I could use some help dealing with these thugs. What do you say? Will you give me a hand here? Sure. Let's get to cleaning up the beach then, shall we? Oh. 
Well, you, you, and you. That's not a hard decision for me to make. <laughs> that's that's really not a very difficult one. <laughs> I don't think I want to bring in the- Oh, those are some high levels. Three dark types. Blake looks like grown-up Silver with that team. I mean, not, not appearance-wise, but his team reminds me of, like, Silver, is what I'm trying to say. He doesn't look like a grown-up Silver at all. Um, Murkro, level 18s, we should be okay. Right? We can just go ahead and spark the Zubat. That should honestly probably one-shot it, considering we're evolved now. I feel decently confident right here. We also do have the cover for the Buchiana, I guess, if it's needed, which it isn't, because Wing Attack just one-shot it. Holy, okay. Bye, Buchiana. I'm sorry. I didn't know you were going to get deleted just like that. A Nummel, huh? That's more of a problem for me. I'll admit, the Nummel is way more of a problem. Leech Life is sadly bad Leech Life, where it's base 20, so that's not going to do anything. Unfortunately, this poor little Zubat needs to work on its life leeching. So we're going to get a nice level up. New move. I'm so, I'm so expecting a new move. Teddy Ursa. Ooh. Evil Teddy Ursa. Dark type Teddy Ursa. Dark fire. Maybe. Wing attack on Teddy Ursa, delete the Teddy Ursa, and unfortunately, I'm using Spark on it, so I'm now gonna do nothing this turn. Thanks, Mark Crow. Thanks, Mark Crow. Appreciate it. Thank you for all of your help. Wow. I get to do nothing. Um, I guess I'm tackling it. I, I, no, don't taunt it. Wing attack it. Don't taunt it. I don't want it to attack with ground type moves. That tackle did nothing. And Murkrow has now been burned. This is just not... It's, it's just not going well. It's just not going well. I'm gonna leer it so that you can hit it harder. Ominous Wind, never mind. You are not gonna hit it any harder, huh? Okay, well, this is... Me and this Murkrow, we gotta work on our synergy. Uh, it's not... It's just not working out right now. One more Ominous Wind, though. One more Ominous Wind and we're, we're all good. Pursuit, that is not Ominous Wind. That is not the same strength as Wing Attack. But you know what? It did the job. That'll do. Okay, sure. And we're trying to learn Bite. Decent move. Nothing crazy. Kind of want to keep cover for the coverage. Kind of want to keep Lair because we have a lot of physical attacks on our team at the moment. And I don't want to get walled out by anything. Sure. Sure. But I will learn Bite over Tackle because it's just better. Okay. I'm I'm still just trying to get over the fact that we're on Dewshine Beach. What? You haven't seen the last of T Magma, you hear me? When Maxi finds out about this, you two are in big trouble. Thank you for stepping in. That was some impressive battling for someone so young. Now then, with that mess sorted out, I shall return to my duties as gym leader of Dooford Town. Oh Huh. I'm sure you'll be challenging our gym when you're ready. I look forward to seeing you battle again. Farewell for now. What was his team? Mark Crow, Sneasel, Hound Hour? I think? You fool. I know your team. He also had level 22, which means we do probably want to do the cave first so that we can get a little bit more XP. Let's grab ourselves a white flute. What Pokemon can we find at this end of the beach? Is it just still Azrael? Krabby? I did say water types. I did say a war type would be what I wanted to add to my team. I'll admit, Krabby is not a Pokemon that I ever think I want to use. There has never been a point in my life where I'm like, yeah, you know what I want to use today? Krabby or Kingla. That doesn't happen. Staryu, on the other hand, that does happen. Paris, gross, disgusting. Get away from me. I hate this stupid Pokemon. To be honest, I don't hate Paris as much as I hate Parasect, but just get this Pokemon away from me. Don't like it. Don't like it. Creepy Pokedex entry. Creepy Pokemon. Not a fan. Well, regardless, I do believe we have sort of checked out everything on Dushine Beach, if I'm not mistaken. We have one area up in the top right. I guess we'll head up there. May as well fully explore the beach while we're up here. We're gonna grab ourselves a rare candy. Ooh, piece of candy. Okay. Can I interact with the Azrael in any way? This is not what I want. I don't care about the Pokemon. Get it away from me. Azrael just chirps, that's fine. Item? No. Rock? 
Nothing important. Okay. Well, do shine beach. Relaxing the crisp sea breeze with my partner's ski is truly magical. I could just sit right here forever. Huh. Some species of Pokemon can only be found here in the flowery grass of Dushine Beach. If I were a Pokemon, this is where I would go too. I might run around in the grass here a little bit off screen and see what I can find. Um, and see if there is like a rare like 5%, 2%, 1% chance Pokemon that we can find here. But for right now, I do believe this is where we're going to go ahead and wrap up this episode. We saw a little bit of a sneak peek at what we're probably going to be fighting very, very shortly. Um, so next episode, we'll get to Steven, go through the cave, do all of that stuff, and then have ourselves a battle with the brand new Dark-type gym leader, Blake. Which terrifies me, but there we go. If you guys have enjoyed this episode, leave a like down below, hit that subscribe button, and above that, ready.